Hello everyone. Today, we are going on a magical trip into the world of myths and stories to learn about 10 well-known witches. Come along with me on this exciting journey as we find out about their interesting lives and the magical things they did. All right, let's get started. Jenny Greenteeth. In all stories from England, there's a spooky character named Jenny Greenteeth. She likes to hang out in the dim, shadowy places around ponds, rivers and lakes. Some folks think she's a witch, and she symbolizes the mysterious, hidden parts beneath the water. Jenny Greenteeth chooses to live in the darkest, still waters where everything above seems to disappear into a strange world. In these places, with lots of underwater plants and barely moving water, she makes her home. Picture her as a nightmare, a skinny, scary figure with long green hair covering her horrifying face. Her teeth are jagged and sharp, ready to trap unsuspecting victims who come too close. Watch out for her tricky ways because Jenny Greenteeth is really good at fooling people. She might stay hidden under the calm water or use her weird beauty and captivating voice to bring unsuspecting people closer. Her way of being mean is as sneaky as it is terrible. She patiently waits for those who get too close to the water and then quickly pulls them down into the depths. There, in the watery darkness, she eats whatever's left, stopping their struggles. She especially likes going after kids, especially those who lean too far over the edge because they're curious. Parents warn their kids about Jenny Greenteeth, telling them to stay away from waters that hide the scary things she does. Let's talk about Kaleech. In the old stories of Scotland and Ireland, Kaleech is a fascinating and tricky character. She represents the spirit of the land and the changing seasons, just like how the wind moves and the earth turns. People often describe Kaleech as an old woman, but she can change how she looks. In winter, she's a scary and wrinkled old lady who brings frost and snow. When spring comes, she turns into a young and vibrant girl, making everything come to life. Kaleech is in charge of the natural world. and she's linked to mountains stones and wild places she carries a special stick that can either freeze the ground or make life giving waters appear she's like the earth's elemental forces in human form what's really cool about kaleech is that she played a big part in creating scotland's mountains and valleys people say she dropped stones from her apron or basket to make them she's also the boss of the changing seasons and she has this big fight every year with the goddess Brigid who represents spring the winner of their battle decides how the weather will be and what will happen to the land in the next year baba yaga in the mysterious tales of eastern europe there's a scary and puzzling character called baba yaga her stories have been giving people goosebumps for generations imagine this a witch who looks like an old hag and lives in a hut standing on chicken legs This hut can turn around to face visitors and keep its secrets hidden. Baba Yaga is a scary sight with a long nose, iron teeth, and eyes that can see through any trick. She's a magic expert controlling the elements and creatures of the forest with just a wave of her hand. But here's the interesting part. Baba Yaga isn't just all evil. She's a complicated character, both scary and wise. Sometimes she helps people and other times she makes things difficult for them depending on what they are up to and how clever they are her hut sitting on those bird legs is a place of challenges if you want her advice or magic help you have to prove you're worth it baba yaga might give you tasks that seem impossible or need you to be smart and resourceful if you fail her tests things can go really bad as for what happens to her in the end It's a mystery. Some say she's immortal, tied to magical objects that keep her alive. Stories suggest she's still in her hut, deep in the forest, waiting for anyone brave enough to come looking for her. Morgan Le Fay. Enter the world of Arthurian legend and you'll find the fascinating and powerful figure of Morgan Le Fay. In the tales of Camelot, she was a captivating presence, a character wrapped in mystery and magic. Morgan Le Fay was an incredibly skilled sorceress and her origins were surrounded by legend and myth. 
Some stories suggested she was the half sister of King Arthur, while others portrayed her as a powerful enchantress with her own goals. Using her knowledge of ancient magic, Morgan Le Fay cast spells that fascinated and frightened. Her expertise in potions and incantations gave her the power to both heal and harm, to hide or reveal. Her magical abilities were a source of wonder and unease in the Arthurian court. But Morgan Le Fay was more than just a magic user. She had a sharp mind and a strong will. Her motivations were often unclear, and her actions showed both kindness and mischief. She walked a fine line between being an ally and an adversary to King Arthur. Sometimes, she offered help and wisdom, while other times, she schemed in the shadows to challenge his rule. Her role in the Arthurian legends created a tapestry of contradictions, where loyalty and betrayal were woven together like ivy in an enchanted forest. Let's talk about Kikimora. In Slavic stories, there's a character named Kikimora, who is part of everyday home life. She is like a protective spirit and also likes to play around. People imagine her as a small and strange being with messy hair and a long nose like a beak. Kikimora lives in hidden places in houses, like attics, basements, or under stairs. These are her favorite spots. Kikimora is all about home routines. She helps with chores like cleaning and making thread, but sometimes she likes to play tricks. She is most active at night, doing things in the dark, either helping out or causing mischief. When people talk about Kikimora, it's a way of saying how important it is to keep our homes clean and organized. Let's delve into the topic of Rangda. In the magical stories of Bali, there's a scary character named Rangda. She is a powerful and not so friendly part of the island's culture. Rangda's tale is about dark magic, disorder, and the ongoing fight between light and darkness. She looks really frightening. Her hair is wild, she has sharp fangs, long nails like claws, and her eyes are intense. Her long tongue reminds everyone that she's not like regular beings. She is the queen of demons and loves causing chaos. In Balinese stories, she's like the big troublemaker, upsetting the balance of the world. Rangda wants to harm humans, making them suffer and feel really sad. People in Bali think of Rangda as someone who knows witchcraft and dark magic. She uses her special powers to destroy things, making her a strong opponent in the never-ending fight between good and evil. La Bifana La Bifana holds a special place in Italian folklore, celebrated as a kind and mystical figure who pays a visit to children on the night of 5th January, bringing along gifts and treats. Her story is deeply rooted in Italian traditions, particularly associated with the Epiphany celebration, and encompasses both historical and mythological elements. According to Italian legend, La Bifana was an elderly woman, residing in a small village. She was renowned for her meticulous housekeeping and genuine affection for children. One night, the three wise men, also known as the Magi or the Three Kings, stopped by her home during their quest to find the baby Jesus. Despite their invitation to join them, La Bifana declined, citing her busy housework. Later, regretting her decision and moved by the importance of the occasion, La Bifana changed her mind and decided to follow the wise men. Loading her broom with gifts such as toys and sweets for the baby Jesus, she embarked on her own journey, flying on her broomstick. Unfortunately, La Bifana never found the baby Jesus or the wise men. Nevertheless, she continues her quest to this day, visiting children's homes on the night of 5th January, known as the Feast of the Epiphany, or La Festa dell'Epifania in Italy. During these visits she leaves gifts and treats for well-behaved children, and coal or ashes for those who have misbehaved, symbolizing both rewards and consequences. The Bell Witch The Bell Witch is a name associated with a well-known American ghost story and haunting that occurred in rural Tennessee during the early 19th century. The legend revolves around the Bell family and their airy encounters with a malevolent entity. Here's the story. In 1817, John Bell and his family settled in Adams, Tennessee. 
The Bell family included John, his wife Lucy, and their children, including Betsy and John Jr. Their peaceful life took a terrifying turn when strange and unexplained phenomena began happening on their farm. These disruptions included knocking sounds, strange noises, and even physical attacks on family members. The entity responsible began to communicate with the family, identifying itself as the Bell Witch and claiming to be the spirit of a deceased neighbor named Kate Batts. The Bell Witch demonstrated an uncanny knowledge of the family's personal lives and secrets, causing significant distress. As the haunting continued, the entity focused its attention on John Bell Sr., inflicting physical harm and ultimately leading to his death in 1820. The Bell Witch took credit for his demise, asserting that she had poisoned him, and announced her intention to return in seven years. True to her word, the disruption ceased for several years, but resumed as promised. The malevolent presence of the Bell Witch remained a mystery, with various theories suggesting that it was a poltergeist, a malevolent spirit, or even a manifestation of psychic energy. The legend of the Bell Witch became a source of fascination and fear both in the local community and beyond. Let's talk about Circe. In Greek mythology, Circe is an enchantress, whose story is steeped in magic and transformation, weaving a tale of enchantment and adventure. Circe was a powerful sorceress, residing on the mythical island of Aia. Renowned for her mastery over magic, her most notable ability, or perhaps curse, was a power to turn men into animals using her potions and spells. Circe's narrative gained prominence during the epic journey of Odysseus, the hero of the Odyssey. When Odysseus and his crew arrived on Circe's island, they fell under the influence of her enchantments. She transformed his men into swine, a seemingly inescapable fate until the god Hermes intervened. Guided by Hermes, Odysseus resisted Circe's spells and negotiated for the restoration of his crew to human form. Captivated by Odysseus's courage and intellect, Circe not only complied with his request, but also developed a deep connection with him. Their relationship evolved from one of enchantress and intruder to that of confidant and advisor. Circe used her magical knowledge to assist Odysseus on his journey, offering invaluable advice and guidance. She shared secrets about the challenges ahead, helping him navigate treacherous waters and overcome the obstacles on his path back to his homeland of Ithaca. The Witch of Ender The Witch of Ender is a figure from the Bible, mentioned in the first book of Samuel. Her tale revolves around a significant event involving King Saul of Israel and the prophet Samuel. Described as a woman practicing divination and communicating with the dead, the Witch of Ender played a crucial role in Saul's desperate situation. Despite Saul having banned divination and consulting mediums, he sought her out as a last resort when facing a formidable Philistine army and feeling abandoned by God. Disguised, Saul asked the witch to summon the spirit of the deceased prophet Samuel. Initially hesitant due to the forbidden nature of her craft, she reluctantly performed the ritual. To her shock and terror, Samuel's spirit appeared, prophesying Saul's impending defeat and death. The prediction came true, as Saul and his sons were indeed killed in the battle with the Philistines. And so, our journey through the mystical world of witches comes to an end. I trust you found this exploration into the enchanting stories of these magical beings engaging. If you believe there are other witch names that should have been included or have any suggestions for future tales, share them in the comments. If you found this journey enchanting, remember to like and subscribe for more captivating tales from history and legends. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, may your curiosity guide you on many more adventures.